Hi guys, Vince here with the Tinkerer's Workshop. It's been a while since I've made a video, so I thought I'd just give you a real brief uh, recap of what I've been up to. Uh, as many of you may know, I have been an editor with Woodsmith Magazine for almost 25 years. I started there in 1995. And about five years ago, Don Peschke, the owner and founder of Woodsmith, sold the company to a larger media group called Active Interest Media. And over the last five years, there have been some staff changes. Some people have retired or moved on and some were let go. Um, a lot of the people that made Woodsmith what it was are no longer there. And the new management team, they're, they're media types. They're not woodworkers per se. They're more you know, from advertising or uh, other areas of media. So it just started to have a different feel for me. Um, I had been there a long time and uh, it just it just wasn't a real good fit. So as of February of this year, I am no longer with Woodsmith. Um, I have moved up the street to a competitor magazine, Wood Magazine, which is owned by the Meredith Corporation, who also owns Better Homes and Gardens and a whole slew of other well-known magazines that I'm sure you're familiar with. Um, Quite a few former Woodsmith employees have actually been working at Wood for a, a while, so it was kind of nice to go there and have a little mini reunion with a few people that I hadn't seen for, for a while. So that's been good. Um, I'm really excited to be working for Wood. I'm a contributing editor there on a part-time basis. So I spend half my time working for them, and then I spend half my time working at the Woodsmith store in Clive, Iowa, which is a suburb of Des Moines. Now, if you're not familiar with the Woodsmith store, it's a brick and mortar woodworking store. Uh, it used to be part of the Woodsmith magazine company, August Home Publishing. And when Don Peschke sold the magazine, he kept the store and he con continues to own that and, and operate that. So I've been working there for the last few months in the lumber department. And I thought today we'd just do a little tour of that area so you can see uh, what it's like there. I want to say off the bat, this is not an officially sanctioned Woodsmith store video. It's just something I'm doing on, on my time because I really like the store and just uh, kind of proud that I'm working there. So I wanted to show it off a little bit uh, for anyone that is not in the Des Moines area, just so you can have a, get a little taste of what it's like there. Maybe if you're ever passing through the Midwest, coming through Des Moines on I-80 or I-35, you can stop off. It's real convenient to reach. Um, and it's a great place just to kill an hour or two looking around. So let's uh, head over and take a look. This is the front of the Woodsmith store. It's located at 10320 Hickman Road in Clive, Iowa. Uh, it's just about five minutes from the freeway, so real easy to get to. When you walk through the front door, the first thing you'll notice is this large uh, power tool area where we have most of the major power tools displayed. Um, we've got table saws, drill presses, planers, jointers, miter saws, uh, most of the major stationary power tools that you would need for woodworking. Uh, the Woodsmith store is a saw stop dealer, so we carry the full saw stop line. Uh, we're actually one of the larger saw stop dealers in the country. It's quite a popular item. And we also have uh, Powermatic, DeWalt, um, Makita, uh, Rikon, a few other brands as well. There's a monitor with Don doing a little demo there. Uh, we've got monitors around the store with demos and, and uh, little tips and things. To go along with the power tools, we have a full line of power tool accessories. Um, things like saw blades, uh, drill bits, router bits, push blocks, push sticks, anything basically that you need to use with, with a power tool uh, we carry. We have a lot of hand tools as well, hand saws, chisels, uh, spoke shaves, rasps, um, large assortment of clamps. Uh, we've got a section for carving tools, mostly flex cut carving tools. Um, we even have some wood burning tools. On one side of the store we have a room dedicated just to Craig products. Uh, Craig's actually headquartered here in Iowa. They're about 30 minutes north of Des Moines. So we carry their full line of products, including their pocket screw jigs, uh, router tables, workbenches, their track saw, and, and all the uh, accessories that they make as well. 
Moving towards the middle of the store, we have an area set up with uh, dust collection equipment, band saws, and lathes. Um, lathes and turning are very popular. We have a large assortment of Nova chucks and uh, all the all the accessory chuck jaws available. You can we have a big display so you can see uh, what they look like and uh, buy them right there in the store. Good assortment of turning tools as well as uh, turning blanks in exotics and domestic hardwoods. At the very back of the store is the lumber department and this is where I work. Um, all of our domestic hardwoods are stored in this two-level lumber rack area and we have a good selection of, of domestic hardwoods. Uh, we've got red and white oak and plain sawn and quarter sawn, uh, maple, walnut, cherry, birch, hickory, poplar, beech, red alder, cypress, aromatic cedar, douglas fir, and basswood. I think that's all of them. We carry all of these in four quarter thickness and uh, many of them we also have in half inch, five quarter, and eight quarter as well. And then even a few couple of them we have in six quarter and ten quarter. One of the great things about the Woodsmith store is that customers are allowed to sort through the bins to pick out the boards they want. Uh, it's a little bit different than other commercial lumber yards where you don't get to choose the lumber yourself. In addition to all the domestic hardwoods I listed, uh, we have a good selection of exotic woods as well. And uh, these include Paduke, Purple Heart, Zebra Wood, Wenge, Pacote, Bloodwood, Red Heart, Yellow Heart, Chechen, Jatoba, Leopard Wood, Bobinga, Ebony, and Mahogany. And we also have Osage Orange, which technically isn't an exotic wood. It comes from the United States, but we carry that as well. Uh, the exotic wood section is really cool. A lot of people like to come in just to check out the different colors of woods and the different species of woods that you know you don't normally see and you certainly won't find them at a Home Depot or a Lowe's type place. So uh, it's just a, kind of a neat place to come and see what we've got. The inventory can change a little bit but we usually have uh, most of those woods that I listed in stock. One of the more popular items we carry are uh, these large slabs of wood. And these come in uh, with live edges and they can be anywhere from 12 inches to 30 inches wide and they're usually two or three inches thick. And people tend to buy them to make large dining tables or uh, bar tops. Uh, sometimes people will buy them and rip them down the center and then switch the two sides around and, and pour epoxy down the middle to make a river table. Um, so they're a popular item. The inventory on these is always changing. We get different species and different sizes all the time. So it's, it's kind of fun just to see what we have in stock on these. We almost always have a bin like this of cutoffs or lumber shorts. And these are real popular with customers that are just looking for a small piece of wood. They don't want to buy a whole board so they can often find what they need in the bin here. And uh, oftentimes it's at a lower price as well. In addition to hardwood lumber, we also carry cabinet grade hardwood plywood. We have this in quarter inch and three quarter inch thicknesses. And we carry red and white oak, maple, birch, walnut, cherry, and hickory. And we also have quarter sawn red and white oak plywood as well, which is kind of hard to find. We sell the plywood in full 4x8 sheets as well as half sheets and quarter sheets. We carry Baltic birch plywood as well in eighth inch, quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, and three quarter inch thicknesses. And this is the genuine Baltic birch from Russia. It's not the cheap Chinese stuff that you often find in the big box stores. Uh, it's got multiple, many plies without any voids. It's uh, high quality stuff. And just to round things out, we also have MDF in three quarter inch and half inch thicknesses. Again, uh, it's real high quality stuff. Um, a lot better than stuff you'll find at the big box stores. We also have quarter inch hardboard, and this is tempered hardboard. It is smooth on both sides. It doesn't have that waffle pattern on the back side like a lot of the cheaper stuff does. 
a lot of our customers are just homeowners or hobbyist woodworkers and they might not have a truck or a large vehicle to carry stuff in so we will cut items down we have a radial arm saw and a panel saw to cut things down to size to fit in your vehicle and we also will just sell you part of a board if you don't need the whole board you can buy just what you need uh, provided that we have about three feet left over that we can sell onto another customer we're perfectly willing to sell partial boards which is another advantage to shopping at the woodsmith store as you exit the lumber area just off to the left is our paint department we are a Benjamin Moore paint dealer so we carry the complete line of Benjamin Moore paints we also carry the general finishes line of stains and top coats which I highly recommend if you have never tried those uh, we've got an assortment of tight bond glues basically anything you need to assemble and finish your project is in this area be it sandpaper or solvents steel wool anything like that you'll find in this general area here the Woodsmith store carries Rockler's line of hardware a lot of these items are specialty woodworking hardware items that are hard to find and in addition we have uh, cabinet hardware from a couple different sources knobs and poles as well as Accuride drawer slides in addition to woodworking, during the spring and summer months, we have an outdoor garden center with live plant material and landscaping items. And here are some of the garden tools that we carry inside the store. All along the west side of the store, we have our grilling and kitchen area. We have a full line of Weber grills and a very large assortment of kitchen gadgets and cookware, um, some nice high-end stuff and some specialty items that are hard to find as well as a nice assortment of made in Iowa gift items, um, some uh, food items, as well as uh, craft items, uh, anything that's made in Iowa. And then as you circle back around to the front of the store, we have uh, Woodsmith store shirts and a book area. We've got three rows of woodworking books and magazines all up by the front registers. Well, the downside of working at the Woodsmith store is that you end up uh, spending most of your paycheck on lumber and tools. I couldn't help picking up a couple of boards while I was there. I got some nice spalted maple and some quarter sawn white oak for a couple of projects that I'm working on. So, so that's a wrap up of the Woodsmith store. Uh, if you're ever in the Des Moines area, I encourage you to, to uh, take a look and check it out. It's a fun place just to uh, spend an hour or two just looking around and uh, hopefully you'll find something that you like that you can take home with you. Thanks for watching.